We're live. Taste the sauce and the meatballs, right? I don't have to taste the rice with the taste test. So if this is a little bit yeah, out. Yeah, it's mainly yeah, it's mainly just the meatballs and the sauce. Okay, well then I'm, Hi, gonna, I'm putting a 20 minute timer okay. on this. When it comes out, I uh, will come back and continue. Okay. I'm just gonna get started. Um, so today we are making sweet and sour meatballs. And we're using Matt Delaney's mom recipe. So this is what he suggested, and I'm going to try and make it. Um, so for the meatballs, you need one pound of, well, it says hamburger or uh, just the extra lean ground beef. Um, half cup of dry bread crumbs. Um, half one fourth a cup of milk, two tablespoons of chopped onion, teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, and one egg. Katie's being like, so I get to watch it tell what you're making. Okay, cool. Um, and for the sauce, you need half a cup of packaged brown sugar, and um, tablespoon of cornstarch, one green pepper. I already had that chopped up. Um, half a cup of vinegar, one can of pineapple chunks, and <laughs> tablespoon of soy sauce. Hi, um, McKinley. How you doing, baby? Okay. <laughs> um, so we're going to start making the meatballs. It just says to mix them together and shape them into balls and then brown them in the skillet. So we're going to do that. Um, okay, we got our meat. I think this is, we're just gonna dump it all in. So we're gonna add the dry breadcrumbs. 
Yahoo. Um, milk. We're adding the milk. Ooh. And now um, the onion. Two tablespoons of onion. I have a spoon just in case I gotta like scrape anything out. All right. And then um, the salt. We're adding the salt. Um, and the Worcestershire sauce. This is interesting. Um, an egg. Cool. Okay, now we're just gonna mix that together. Um, hey Matt, I'm making your mom's um, meatballs and sweet and sour meatballs. Yeah, Faith, meatball queen. I love meatballs. It's more when they're fresh than frozen. I don't like frozen meatballs. You give me frozen meatballs, I'll throw them at your face. Okay, I don't like frozen stuff. I'll throw them meat, those frozen meatballs at your face if you try to feed me those. But might not. Because <laughs> it might hurt. Unless you want me to. Get my hands in there. Felicia, I don't like getting my hands dirty. I'm using a fork. Hi, Star, how are you? Too sure. Okay. This is looking pretty good. Um, you never know how to say that sauce. Worcestershire? I'm just guessing that's what you're talking about. Um, that's just how I'm guessing. Ooh, this stuff is goopy. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay, so we made it. Um, now, to measure out my meatballs, I'm using a tablespoon. So I'm going to do like maybe two tablespoons for one meatball. We're just driving around in the Jeep learning how to make meatballs. That sounds fun. You're going to get your hands dirty. Oh, true. I have to... Either way, I'm getting my hands dirty. That sounds fun. Okay. We are making those meatballs now. Come on. I don't know how many this usually makes, so we're gonna figure that out. Get out. Okay. <laughs> I don't like getting my hands dirty. This feels good. This feels great. No parchment paper. I'm only placing them there for a second and then I'm putting them in a skillet. It's fine. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. surgical gloves to keep your hands clean. We don't really have surgical gloves, so it's fine. I'll just wash my hands after. It ain't a big deal. Get back in there, you onion. Don't worry, I'll wash my hands. If the sauce doesn't thicken, add a little cornstarch and water. Okay, great. I'm sure everything will be fine. Alright, so how was everybody's day? I got pretty sunburned the other day, so my back is very, very... You have a very bossy audience. You're good. Yeah, I know. But it's okay. I don't listen to them very much. So, although, maybe I should sometimes, but I'll decide that. Okay, so, yeah, I got badly sunburnt the other day, and my back is in pain, so I'm sorry if I'm not as goofy, I guess. But, no, I'm feeling pretty goofy today. We went grocery shopping today just to try and grab everything. It was...
was a fun trip. I didn't have lunch today because I was at the grocery store for a while, so this is pretty much the only meal I'm having today. So Matt, this better be good. These meatballs are gonna look so good. They're gonna be great. Get out. Okay. We're just gonna roll with it. We're gonna roll with it. <laughs> These are not even. Okay. It's very quiet. It's been a pretty slow day, I think. I woke up at like which is surprising because normally I sleep till 12 sometimes 1 um, but no, t this week's been pretty good I've been getting up earlier than normal I guess I'm just kind of going to bed earlier than like 2 a.m. oh dear but it's fine I'm getting the hours of sleep that I need I'm getting the hours of sleep that I need We went to a superstore in Midland. Um, my dad's making the rights for this, so you're gonna see him every now and then. Because I wanna stay focused on these meatballs and the sauce so that I don't screw up. And also we got new rice with ha which had different instructions, which I didn't fully understand, so I'm making him do it. Dropping everything everywhere. These onions are being silly. I can see you, dog. You're not getting any of these meatballs. You might get one later, but not now. <laughs> My dog's face looks really stupid. <laughs> but yeah, I went to a superstore in Midland. Um, how many have I made so far? I've made nine. Boy, get out, get out. Get out. Ooh, I just want some meat. I don't want to break anything. My hands feel so gross. All right. This reminds me of the times I would make snowballs. <laughs> I'm gonna make them nice and circular. These are gonna These are gonna be some nice meatballs. Holy crap, this looks so slimy. Wow. myself in the other rooms because my parents are watching. They don't want to help. Well, no, that's not true. My dad's helping and my mom, she's just too tired. multiple times that I should make a YouTube page am I going to fry them or bake them it says to put them in a skillet I'm gonna cook them in a skillet so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use that pan and put them in there and then just cook them that's what I'm gonna do 
Alright. Hopefully there's en enough. Like, I'm, I'm always worried. Like, the last meatball might not have the same measurement. Alright. Nice. I fry them in a fry pan. I think... Okay. Okay, cool. Get out. My dogs are being really silly outside right now. Lacey's just kind of, I don't know. Okay, come on. All right, looking pretty nice. I'm almost done. I got a little bit left in here. Okay. Definitely not gonna have enough for the last one. Okay, get out, you dummy. Come on. But it's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. It, it just has to be edible. Ooh, this is slimy. This is a slimy one. Ew, it's the egg. Ooh. <laughs> Gross. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Make a small one, that's okay. I know, I'm going to. I'm just going to take whatever is left in here. Ew. <laughs> I don't like getting my hands dirty. Ew. Oh, this, oh no, I like, this is the slimier one. But they're, they're going to taste great. <laughs> but they just feel gross. <laughs> gross. My hands. I got to wash my hands. They're coming over here. Uh, there's a lot of space going on. I'm just gonna put this thing back. Oh, wait a minute. I'm confused by this. How does this thing work? There we go. We have a giant container for our rice. This thing's huge. I'm moving this over here where my dad's making the rice. I'm coming over here where I can make my meatballs. What do you mean it keeps timing out? I don't know what you mean by that. Okay, we're, I think I might want to try to put a little bit of olive oil in there just so it doesn't stick. Don't worry, it's not hot. <laughs> oh no. I need tongs to help flip them. incidents like the hamburgers the hamburgers weren't sticking they were just falling apart um i'm just gonna put a little bit in there just a little drizzle bam okay Yeah. Okay. 
I <laughs> I make a mess when I make things. But it's fine. It tastes good in the end. Um, now, there wasn't a specific timing thing on the paper. It just said to cook in a skillet until it browned. So, how many did I make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 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 twelve. I made 15 meatballs. So, with the two tablespoons, and who cleans it up? Both of us, Mom. I help you after I'm done making food. So don't even start with your mom. I always clean up. No, I know. It's fine. <laughs> we both clean, and I help. I'm gonna put them in. Ooh. All right, all right, all right. It's we got some meatballs in here. I'm gonna. I'm just kind of going with it. Ooh, they starting to sizzle. I'm putting all of them in. Bam! All right, all of those meatballs are in. They they going. lid on because I think that helps you got a minute and 30 seconds okay, I'm wash my hands first. Yeah. I'm gonna keep this pan oh, I, don't, I, don't I don't know how to do this you don't know how to do what Meatball. Mm, <laughs> it'll taste good Okay. They're going. I'm gonna flip them. I'm gonna flip them. Alright, alright, alright. Meatballs are done. I'm flipping them so then they don't. Oh, that one's sticking. Tongs aren't really helping that much, but it's fine. I put olive oil in here to help it. Great, I'm gonna turn the heat down so it can cook all through. Alrighty, just a few more to flip. Let's go. Maybe next time I'll just do one tablespoon so I can make more meatballs. Okay, okay, then butter. and then when it's boiling you turn it down to medium and, and let simmer, it simmer for 12 minutes. And then you let it, and then after it is simmering, you, you um, let it sit for five. Correct. And then you fluff it. And then you fluff it. Woo! 
Meatballs. Everybody wants fluffy rice. All right, these are looking pretty crispy. That's okay. Oh, this one is just crispy. You need me to stay and watch that, or are you going to do it, Chuck? Um, it's fine. You can watch it if you want. You're the boss. You tell me. You watch it. Okay. I need to pay attention to these meatballs. Over here, out of the way. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure how much longer to do this for. Anything about temperature that's supposed to be? No. I just said until brown, and they're and they're brown on the outside. I just don't know if it's supposed. To on the inside. Ooh. Can I just move them? <laughs> I don't want to burn them. I will is doing nothing. Okay, that one's just breaking apart. Maybe I should do the same thing I did with like the hamburgers and let them sit. Okay. You know what? I think I'm gonna take them out now. Just because they're gonna cook all the way in the sauce too. So, I'm putting them back on the pan. Is they pretty brown now? You need to make the sauce in that pan. I don't really know. I'm just taking them out so then I don't wreck them. There you go. Last time I made meatballs, it was for that uh, stuffed cookie meatball pasta thing. Okay. So we kind of have our meatballs. I'm going to put this off to the side because I don't know what to do with that. Okay, now, there they are. We're going to let them sit there and we're going to start on the sauce. I don't know how. I'm putting you guys down. What do you mean you don't know how? I'm looking at the instructions. I've never made this before. Okie dokie. Mix brown sugar and cornstarch in the skillet. Um, yeah, I'm put you, putting you guys back over here. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm going to put the meatballs over there. Starch and the brown sugar. I believe that's what it said. Yeah, add brown sugar and cornstarch and spill it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like kinetic sand. Okay, get it out. Okay. Um, mix in pineapple and pineapple and um, I don't know what that says. Was what say? Pineapple and syrup? And syrup, yeah. Okay, I'm guessing that's pretty much everything that's in here. I don't want to burn it. Okay. <clears throat> this is my first time. Are you supposed to leave this off in? I don't know. I'm putting apple in the meatball chunks now. Right apple chunks? Yeah, 
chug, a pineapple chug. That's what I said. Well, I could have sworn I heard meatball chug. Okay, whatever. <laughs> that one won't come out. I don't know what it meant by syrup. You didn't have syrup on the intestine? It ingredients. didn't say syrup. Um... It just said, yeah, Parish brown sugar, corn, starch, green pepper, vinegar, pineapple, chunks, tablespoon of soy sauce. Vinegar and soy sauce. I'm adding the vinegar. And the soy sauce. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, watch. I got it, I got it. Watch the rice. What did Matt say about the sauce? Um, if the sauce doesn't thicken, add a little cornstarch and water. Okay, um, <clears throat> heat, so it says more. heat heat to boil, stir constantly. Okay, so we're making this, we're making the sauce. So that's just gonna simmer. We're gonna show. see if it'll thicken. I don't know if it will. Um, how much cornstarch should I use? A tablespoon. So yeah, let's leave that out just in case. Um, I'm gonna add my spoon. For goodness sake. Oh, it smells like sweet and sour sauce. Consistently, I think, or constantly, yeah, stir it constantly. Ooh, um, and heat it to a boil, stir it constantly, and then reduce heat and add the meatballs and green pepper. Okay, so we're gonna wait until this thickens. the meatballs and the green pepper. Ooh, it's boiling. What does it mean by reduce? That it's like smaller? Or? Yeah, reduce is okay. small. Okay, I just want to double check. Dad, do you want to try stirring it just to show him? 
seeds like that. It's not. You said to turn the temp down. Okay. Who did? Matt. We're turning it down. We have it at like one or two. Um, I added a tiny bit more cornstarch and water just to make sure it does thicken. I, I don't know. Is this thick enough to low? You're on. You're basically where you want. I'm, Put it to low. Yeah, I'm at low pretty much. Okay. <laughs> it has a nice smell. I just got a good whiff of it. I think it's pretty good. I don't really know if that's thick enough. Looks okay to me. Okay, so then we should add the me the meatballs and the peppers now, I think. Watch yourself for a second. I'm just gonna grab, I gotta grab a pork thing for the bread. All right, so yeah, now we're gonna add the meatballs and the peppers. I miss these pretty well. Get out. I need them meatballs. Okay. Yes, peppers first. Okay, I did that. Okay, careful, they're sliding. I'm just here. Adding meatballs. This one's falling apart. Okay. <coughs> you don't want it too thick or whatever. Yep, we got it. Okay, we're adding the meatballs and the peppers now. Um, and it, I don't really know what to do with it now. <laughs> Let me read it. Let me read. Um, at, yeah, it just says to add meatballs and the green peppers. Yeah, and then you stir I'm it just going to stir it all up. I'm sure it'll taste great. Um, yeah, that meatball's falling <laughs> apart. That meatball's dead. <laughs> well, that can be the one I taste. Okay. I hope these are all cooked. <laughs> I hope so too. I'm sure they will. We're not going to die. <laughs> You too, bro. Nothing wrong with the bromance. Yep. That's you see? You hear that? No, I didn't hear it. Nothing wrong with the bromance, he says. I didn't say there was something wrong. You're the one making fun of it. I'm not. I'm 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 encouraging it. Much 
close to done. Um, we had about three minutes well, left. Maybe I, take it off now. I think I'm gonna take it off because I don't want to burn. Okay. I'm just gonna let these sit a bit more just so they have time to heat up and cook. Um, yeah. Okay. While this is happening, I'm gonna do the word of the day. Um, and oh, it's right here, for goodness sake. All right. And today's, I'm gonna move. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna splash you. No, you're being loud. Watch me louder. Today's word of the day is Proverbs 3 5 to 6. And that says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. So yeah, Proverbs 3, to, Proverbs, hang up. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. That's the, ver that's the word of the day. And I chose that because, I don't know, I really like it. And I'm, I can't remember where I heard it. I heard it maybe in like a sermon, I think at church or something once and then I wrote it down and I'm like that would be a great word of the day so it sounds cool I like it very inspirational um we got the bowls ready all right take on my meatballs <laughs> Okay, so if we've taken this off the heat chef and putting a, a different timer on, yeah, five minutes. Yeah. There you go. Okay. When that's done, we can fluff the rice. Alrighty. Fluff. Don't. No. That's what? disgusting. Oh, Where are you in a kitchen. What? I'm fluffing. No, you're not. Where are you in a kitchen? Try meatball now. If that's okay. Sure, I was gonna. I'm gonna give him one meatball right now. <laughs> Is one meatball. That's what I get for dinner. Yeah. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> Your diet starts now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it smells good. It's cooked. Okay. You were worried. It's not. You don't have to worry. It's cooked. Hot. Hot, yes. Well, that's what we want. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks, Matt, and thanks, Matt's mom, for the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, okay, well, yeah, it's pretty much done now, so that's it. Um, I'll send the youth rooted page of finished product of how it looks like on a, in a bowl or something. Um, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Uh, you weren't even in there. Oh, well, that's okay. Okay, bye. <laughs>